What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. Once again, do not talk about my Christmas tree being up. It's going to stay up unless one of y'all come to my house and take it down for me, right? All right, so now that we got that out the way, let's get to the topic at hand. Gervonta Tank Davis is the most popular fighter in the United States of America. He is the biggest star in boxing from the United States of America, to me, without question, right? Um... You know, I look at guys like Canelo Alvarez and Tyson Fury. They are mega stars for sure. But Tank in the United States, like in, Uni in the United States, Tank Davis, like from the United States, Tank is something special. For real. The numbers came out. I think he probably, like, yeah, I think it was like 19,000 people filled the arena to watch him fight in Washington, D.C. A non-traditional boxing area as far as like holding fights. Most, a lot of fights are held in New York, Vegas, California, so on and so forth, but not in DC like that. And he still sat, he still was able to haul in 19,000 people. So that says a lot about what the American public feels about Tank Davis. And I've seen, I've been privy to it for a while. You know, like again, I, I saw this uh, said on a, the, it was like a Greg Hackett interview. Um, What's the boxing channel? I, I forget the boxing channel's name. Y'all let me know, man. I want to give credit to that brother. The brother said it. He says that Tank is marketed in a different way. He's marketed almost like a rapper, and he definitely is, right? He has a, it's the, the, the trajectory, the lane he feels is very, very significant. Rappers want to be seen with him. Rappers want to walk out Tank Davis. They want to be around him. They want to be around his aura. The way they try to ingratiate themselves to him I haven't seen something like that with an American uh, an American fighter like that since Floyd Mayweather, for real. And again, it's on a, on a uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A micro level, because Floyd Mayweather was just so immense. And again, look at the, the pay discrepancy between Floyd Mayweather and the, the, the rest of the boxing world today. Mayweather was getting $100 million at minimum per fight at his height. You know, fighters today ain't getting nothing close to that. What? Uh, besides Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, the fighters after that, and, and Canelo, other than that, like the fighters now getting what? Three, four million a fight, stuff like that. They ain't getting, uh, I think what, Bud just got like 10 million, I heard. I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I believe he did because uh, he would have raised hell had he not gotten it. But other than that, fighters ain't getting nowhere close to those numbers. But I think that Tank could start to become one of those mega, mega million type stars. Not like Floyd Mayweather. Not to that level. But... He can be getting one of them, the, 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 the hefty bags of money, right? Um, I say that because, let's be real. The average American, black, the black American does not watch boxing like that at all. A lot of us would try to act like we do. You know, we try to act like we know the boxers and know the names, especially dudes in the hood. They don't know what the hell they be talking. <laughs> they don't know none of these boxers at all. They only know the ones who are on the shade room or on ESPN constantly for knockouts, right? And even then, they still don't know a lot of them, right? They only know the ones who have some controversy around them, and they have a certain mystique and a street, like a, a mystique around them. Tank has a mystique and an aura around him that is just uncanny, right? Because there's other fighters in boxing, the black Americans who are knockout artists, but for, but for a special reason, Tank is the one that people gravitate to. And maybe it's because of the story that he come from. You know Tank really, really from the streets, right? You know uh, both of his parents were on drugs. He was in the group homes as a kid. Went to found went, went and found it. Uh, not his found. I think uh, somebody brought him. I think Calvin Ford's son brought Tank to Calvin Ford. And Calvin Ford and them have honed Tank skills to another level where he is... Like, he's must-see TV without question. When you see a kid throw an uppercut like and reminds you of a young Mike Tyson, the world stops and pays attention to that, especially due to the fact that Tank is doing it at a smaller weight class. He's a small guy, but if he, he packs a hell of a punch, and you know if Tank touch you up, you bound to hit that canvas or you're going to quit and say no mas, like we just saw last weekend. We just saw that, right? So... You know, uh, it's, 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 it's very uncanny, man. It's, 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 I'm watching him. And again, I've seen other fighters get a little, get close. But certain things were missing from their uh, aura. Or they didn't have the je ne sais quoi to try to get to, to, to absolutely get to that level where Tank is. A close second behind uh, 
Tank, I think, is Errol Spence's is right there, but I think it changed up for Errol after the car accident. Errol was starting to become uh, close to that type of level of a name almost, and I noticed it because when uh, you know I started seeing women talk about Errol Spence, right? I saw it when you, they watching a fight maybe with their boyfriend or something like that, or they they father or something, an uh, older gentleman who watches the fight. They started saying how they liked how Errol looked. Errol started wearing the chains. He was wearing the jewelry like the rappers do. Um, hanging around with Yellow Beezy, so on and so forth, seemed to be the life of the party. After, and I think he was starting to almost live, he was living that rapper lifestyle for a minute. And then after the car accident happened, it slowed up. He changed up his whole lifestyle, went to become a farm type of guy, living on a farm, close, close knit family man. I say he still hang with his boys, but he started to shy away from that aspect of where he was once headed, the trajectory he was on. After the Sean Porter fight, he was in a club with the chain on, the, the fish chain I think he had on and all that. He was in there. You know, he was flexing with his shirt off, looking like a rapper. And I think once the lifestyle started to catch up with him a little bit, he backed away from it and said, you know what? I need to focus on boxing. I felt like Errol probably could have went to that next level, you know, pretty soon. Uh, Deontay. Deontay Wilder, I think the American public was enamored with him and his, his power. As it, I think it really came... After a little bit after the Bermain Stavern fight, but once the Tyson Fury fights was around the way and it was up, up and coming, that's when the world really started to say, okay, let me go on and go watch this young brother fight. Let me see what this brother could do. Let me go watch him. The, okay, the draw happened the first time. He knocked out Luis Ortiz again, knocked out Dominic Brazil, and then he lost to Tyson Fury in a devastating fashion that second time for sure. And I think that that waned, his momentum waned after that. It started to fall off, right, within the American public's eyes. And I think that Deontay never got to the level where uh, Tank is as far as with the American public. I th Even though he was making some good money, I think it's because Deontay is a country boy at heart. So he would ingratiate himself towards the fans, his fans and stuff like that. But Deontay didn't give a damn about ingratiating himself to the entertainers. He didn't care. He didn't want to have... He, now, he had Lil' Kim walk him out. When he fought Luis Ortiz the first time. But he really, because he was in the Barclays, but he really didn't even care. He don't care about rappers being around him. He don't care about ingratiating himself to rappers. He don't care about having them walk him out. He don't be on you on Instagram playing their music. He don't be showing himself rapping all their songs. He don't have their music as a soundtrack to his workouts and all that, like like um in workout videos and stuff. Deontay really does not care about being loved and embraced by celebrities he does not and i think that's the country boy in him so i think that prevented him from being marketed in a way like tank is to being a almost looked at as a rapper type of uh, individual adrian broner was on that tra trajectory as well but at the point i'll say this ab could not get the girls enamored the same way tank does right and also ab is not as talented and he was very talented at the lower weight he was very talented he did a lot of good things at those lower weight classes once he jumped up to 147 that was the mistake right and i think a lot of his the lack of discipline and just certain holes in his fight game show show became uh, began to show and then you start to say okay all right maybe it's not the same when like when i knew ab wasn't like the what certain people thought he was after the close fight with paulie malinaji you know, after that I saw it, I'm like, I don't know. You know, and I'm again, I'm a fan of AB, right? But I think AB also lost. He lost early, not early. He didn't lose early in his career. Well, I guess he could. Uh, within like the first two years of him gaining, within those two years of him gaining popularity, he lost. He did. So early within his momentum, Tank is still undefeated, and he still has a big challenge ahead of him. If he defeats Ryan Garcia, and especially if he knock Ryan out, Tank Davis will be the biggest American star in boxing. Like, I, man, since Floyd. I believe it, man. Since Floyd, he will be the man. Now, he ain't going to be on Floyd level. He's not, because that shit was just something different. You do, not, you do not see no shit like that in boxing at all today, right? But he going to surpass the likes of, like, Jermaine Charlo. He already surpassed him. Um, he like man, like uh, who Andre Ward was after him. Um, again, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence. Uh, well, Boots ain't reached that trajectory yet. Um, yeah, man, he gonna be the biggest one since Floyd. He beat Ryan Garcia. His stock is gonna rise, 
in a in, like in a meteoric way. It's already meteoric. It's gonna go to a whole nother level he beat uh if he beats Ryan Garcia. Then now nah, look, if he beat Ryan and he let's just say he beat up on Lomachenko or something, right? He beat Ryan, beat a Lomachenko, or even a young other uh, black fighter like Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson, shit. Sky's the limit for that, brother. And even some people that feel like Devin and Shakur are more talented talented than Tank. They are not the star. They don't, they don't have nowhere near the star power that Tank has. And it's because they can't produce <laughs> them knockouts the same way Tank can. Tank can produce that shit like, like, um, goddamn. He can produce it like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like Jordan produced them damn shoes. He can produce knockouts. For sure, like Jordan Brand push out them shoes, he produced knockouts in the same fashion. Now, it was a TKO the last past weekend, a man didn't hit the canvas, but we already know the American public likes seeing people hit the canvas so they become enamored with Tank. When they see that power, dudes from the hood who do not watch boxing, because dude, again, black folks don't, don't watch boxing like that in the hood. We They don't. I watched it because my uncles and them watched it, and I became enamored with the sport watching them, watching the, watching the fights with them. But people watch it passingly casually they don't watch it like that so people it's people in the hood you can get them a million dollars they couldn't point out errol spence or Terence crawford to save their damn life they couldn't point them out if they wanted to they have no idea who errol spence or Terence crawford is and pound for pound level they're better than tank davis as far as pound for pound type achievements like they're better fighters technically right um they're more accomplished than tank but the world know the hood no tank they don't know who errol and Terrence is, unless you're a boxing fanatic like myself. Ask your mama, your daddy. Because you know, a, a lot of daddies don't watch boxing like that. They don't. Uh, so a lot of them do. A lot of them don't. Still, it's a mixture. Ask your daddy, your uncle, them, who Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford is. They don't know who the fuck you talking about. Right? But if you ask them who look tank, look light skin, shorty, sign with Floyd Mayweather, are they going to tell you that shit? Oh, I know, little buddy. I know him. Right? And then it, it helps that. The girls like how Tank Davis look, right? They do. Let's be real. The girls like how Tank Davis look. They like the fact that he was dating somebody who is in their mix, who they keep up with. When he was dating Ari, G Herbo's baby mama, he was dating her for a while, a few years back. That's when them women started to pay attention to Tank because he was on the shade room a lot. You know, after you when you date a little young celebrity, little young girl, he was running around with her. Her fans was like, oh my God, who is this dude? And they were like in love with Tank because he was dating Ari. And then they liked how he looked. So he he gained a fan base from that, a strong female contingent from that, from the fact that, that, that from the fact that they liked how he looked. He ran with Floyd Mayweather. He was dating Ari. All of that, right? Even the dudes wanted to wanted to watch Tank because uh cause because uh Floyd co-signed him. So that was a real, real thing for sure, man. But Tank can, again, getting 19,000 people to sit in that arena like that. That's special. That's special, man. Like, and Tank got uh, he is the biggest star. St uh, he has the most star power out of any American fighter. For sure. Like, and I think Errol does it better in the pay-per-view range, baby. Or I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think Errol can keep up in pay-per-view, but live in gate, Tank got that shit on lock when it comes to watching him. You know his women on my timeline who don't watch fights at all. They was at the fight in DC. I'm like, damn. Girls from Chicago, my way, I know they don't watch boxing. They was in D.C. to see the fights. Though all the rappers be want to come around, Casanova and them was all around him, Lil Baby, Dirk and them, they all want to be around him. And then Tank also reaches out to them. He like being around them. He like, you know, um, comments and other day stuff or whatever or and all of that. They all want to keep up with what he doing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just a different level. Now, the older generation, I think, was more supportive of Deontay um, I see little Scrappy. He always under Deontay Wilder pictures and stuff like that. But like, you don't see a little baby and a little dark now keeping up with what Deontay Wilder and them was doing, right? You saw, um, Denzel and Judge Mathis and all of them older individuals keeping up with Deontay because they were oh that that boxing was in their of their generation. That's when it was really at its height, right? But the younger folks they didn't start clamoring for Deontay until they heard him do the um. To this day, Chant, when he did that, when he was snapping on Radio Raheem after that. But Tank, he got this youth, this younger generation, he got that shit on lock. And I'm very, very proud of the brother and how far he's come within his career because I think G I think Javante Tank Davis got the goods. 
And I think he got the goods to beat just about anybody. I'm for real, because the shit that separates him, he's not just a knockout one-punch knockout power artist. He's a great boxer. He has great boxing skill, technically sound, for sure. Now, I think Devin Haney and, and Shakur got a better defense, but his boxing skill is superb, and Tank got good defense. He can hold the phone, parry shots. He can dodge and move out the way. Got good, solid head movement. At times, Tank get hit it sometimes, but I think he gets hit when he know he can take your power, and he's just willing to take it to give some, right? But um, he got the boxing power, I mean, the boxing skill, but the difference is he got the power to go along with it that I don't think Devin Haney and Shakur, they don't have, right? So I think at the end of the day, even when shit not going well for him or somebody may get the best of him in certain exchanges, he got that shit to stop it and dead in his tracks. And when he goes against Ryan Garcia, this going to be Tank's the most challenging fight of his career when he go against Ryan because Ryan is bigger than him. Um, He's, I mean, bigger in size and in and, 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 and height and, and the arm reaches better than Tank's. He got better hand speed than Tank. Tank going to have to figure out a way to adjust to that. But I think he ultimately will. And I think in the later rounds, he's going to catch Ryan with some shit he don't see coming and hurt Ryan in a bad way. That's just what I think. Y'all may think differently, but this is how I see it, right? But um, I'm excited to see this young brother's career continue. I'm very impressed with how he's uh, improved his speaking, his public speaking abilities in a major way. I'm very impressed with the brother. Like, you know, I'm always all for seeing young black men improve themselves in certain areas where they may struggle. Tank, people say Tank doesn't talk well now. Tank didn't talk well at all years ago. Floyd had to talk for him a lot because... He just, he, 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 I don't know. Again, he's a young street kid. He wasn't the most, like, he wasn't um uh the most uh, uh school media savvy type, media savvy type person, right? Uh, maybe he had nervousness and, and, you know, a little speech impediment here and there. He improved it in a major way. And I'm just proud of the brother, man. And see him, I'm like, man, Tank uh, speaks, speaks a lot better now uh, publicly. Uh, it's more confident in front of the camera and in the ring, the confidence ain't never, it's always been there. So shout out to Javante Tank Davis, the biggest boxing star in America. Peace.